welcome to another episode of my van build. So we're gonna finish the floor build. I'm using some wood for the under construction. That I'm gonna glue the wooden framing on the metal floor of the car. In between I'm gonna put some insulation boards. Yesterday I glued down my my wooden framing and I put bags of sand and whatever heavy came under my hands and I tried to really weight everything down. So this is where my diesel heater will sit, right here in the corner and I'm gonna cut out the hole right now because it's gonna be much easier than later on when the whole flooring is done already and it's covered with insulation and wooden boards. I cut out a little template and I climbed under the, the car and checked if there's any support beams or anything covering um, the surface right here on this spot. Mission successful. Another hole in my van. Perfect. Now oh, the floor construction looks at the moment. So here I have the wooden um, sub-construction that I glued into place. Here it's gonna be the shower, so I'm gonna make a hole in the OSB plates. I usually like to keep things pretty simple, but that's not the case with the floor insulation. I ordered those insulation boards that were supposed to be covered with aluminum foil to prevent moisture from entering the insulation. But of course I got the wrong boards. I didn't want to bother by returning them and everything and I just decided I'm gonna buy some aluminum foil and put it underneath and over the top of the floor insulation. Uh, it's gonna be like a big package covered with aluminum foil and no moisture should enter. So because these boards are EPS boards and they are not really moist proof, I need to make a vapor barrier that's gonna protect everything from water. Put the insulation boards in between the supporting structure. On top of it, I laid out aluminum foil. And then on top, I laid out the OSB boards. Uh, I think they are 12 millimeter thick. Okay, so this is how my floor looks like at the moment. Here I left a hole for my shower. I made sure all the aluminum foil is nicely finished and wrapped around the edges. I marked where the water is gonna drain. And my OSB plate is looking like this now. I left a hole 
for the heater as well. <laughs> it's just a hole now. Um, this is the mounting plate for the heater. I marked the lines where my subconstruction lies so I can drill the, the screws in later. Floor is fixed and ready. It took me only one day to install the flooring. I still can't believe it. Like usually everything takes longer than expected, but this was quick. Yeah.